Let's talk GIMP support here for a second. <clears throat> I imagine that a lot of you, like me, have... Uh, E-foiling is not your first board sport. You probably ski, snowboard, surf, wakeboard, paddleboard, deep kite surf, wind surf. You've, you've done... You've, this isn't your first foray into riding a board to have fun. So. I am going to make a second assumption, which is, um, if that's the case, you probably suffered an injury or two. So I'm going to talk about some braces I've been using because I've, I've been noticing an advancement in my arthritis on my, especially this this right knee, which I've had two surgeries, two meniscus repairs on, and um, I'm trying to delay my first total knee uh, replacement so that I can. Uh, well, have as few of them throughout my life as I possibly can. And so I'm delaying for, for two reasons. One, I just I would like to be older before I need to have it replaced, my knee replacement replaced. And uh, medicine, like other technologies, it, it really just gets better um, all the time. And so, you know, waiting for a better technology um, would be, I mean, it would be great if like at some point they could just like, you know, stick a needle in there, fill it with stem cells and like regrow me a knee. That would be awesome. Uh, I, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but I mean, it could. But either way, the surgeries get easier, the tools and the instruments get smaller, so you can do a more minimally invasive surgery. So I found that, you know, you, you should, especially when it comes to surgeries like, like joints, um, you should get it done if it's affecting your enjoyment of your life, but if, if you can deal with it, you, you might find out that a newer technology that's just significantly better, maybe even, maybe even radical innovation might come along to make your surgery experience or your recovery experience easier, or maybe just last a heck of a lot longer. So I'm going to show you a couple of braces. So here, uh, for, for my type of injury, and, and you should definitely get yours diagnosed by... Um, by your doctor. Um, I cannot diagnose you. I, yeah, I'm not treating you and I never, I wouldn't even consider doing it. So um, just just bear that in mind. This is what works for me. This is, uh, here's my, my Swedish, uh, it's a, uh, it's an Osura. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Osur, Osur, I don't know. It looks like that. Anyway, so this is your standard offloading brace. Now you'll notice like it's only got, one side has a hinge. Uh, it makes it nice and light. You really only need to lift it up on the side where you're compromised. So uh, you you want this to go skin on skin. And and what what I do like about this brace is there's kind of it's so simple. There's no way to really screw it up, right? You can get a brace that can treat more different kinds of conditions and handle more kinds of uh, stability problems. But if you buy the braces like this, just does this one thing. It makes it simpler and easier and then you know you you're let you're you're completely assured of of what you're doing so when i'm walking with this one what this will do as long as i put it on while i'm standing and then tighten it up, okay is is it does it does tilt this part of my knee uh the other way so that i'm not going to grind uh continually grind down that part of my knee and it is fan for walking and stuff it's fantastic but this brace is not designed for water sports and frankly i've been having trouble finding one that works for me that has been designed for water sports that isn't a completely custom build and then we're talking about like a brace like this you know if you've got great health and this is this is by the way a brace you, you for people who have fantastic um health insurance it's expensive i think i think these list for like 1200 or 1400 and it is very good but uh, I have worn it for for water sports, and I wish that I hadn't. It takes a really long time to dry. Its components aren't made for it. I've had some things rust out. You can see that I'm re replacing some th some bolts and stuff, so it's becoming more and more Frankenstein-y as the years roll on. But um, yeah, I've, I I would not suggest this one for e-foiling or for water sport for getting wet. Uh, it's just it's just not made for it. I I have a lot of wear away, and I think. A lot of that's do, like this the silicon on the inside is to keep keep it stuck to your skin in a pretty comfortable way so that the offloading mechanism works all right so this is a great brace 
Like if, you, if you've got a hike or something, perfect. Just wouldn't submerge it. All right, then we've got this one, which I, I don't really love. This is, a, um, this is by a company called uh, Comfy Orthopedics. Comfy Orthopedic, looks like that. This is one of those braces that is an offloading brace, meaning it's got the one side here. Um, it, it's really designed to treat or, or stabilize you um, for a lot of, lot of different conditions. And that upsets complexity a lot. Like this one, for instance, get this on here. One, all the straps are, are numbered so you know that you're putting it on <laughs> for, for the most part, right, each time. All right. <clears throat> and uh, these, the, I, I don't, I mean, I've had braces designed to wear over your, your like your, your snow pants and stuff. And honestly, I think that they really only work all that well when they're skin skin on skin i think that they they work best when they're against your skin a lot of them have these again these silicon strips and silicon these stick to skin really nicely and if it doesn't stick to your if it slides on you it's not stabilizing anything so um, something to bear in mind um okay i got that one right okay so if we take a look at this guy it is less comfortable than this. Like, look at the, the surface area that it's actually attaching to me with. Now this guy needs to be... That's another thing I don't like about this is you can actually put it on wrong and not notice it. And it's not doing anything. Might even be doing bad things for you. But anyway, okay, so... And I can feel this, and it is working. Not nearly as well as that one for just walking around. But... It was way cheaper than this one, so I picked it up because I was like, man, I need something that I'm not going to wreck, right, like right away. And, uh, and this is cheaper, so if I wrecked it, you know, well, I can replace. Let's say this lasted a month. Maybe for a couple hundred bucks, that's worth it rather than losing one of these every month for 1200 1400 bucks. So this works. But you can, you can also... On this one, you can put a screwdriver in here and you can adjust the tension and the canter. When you're oot and a boot, um, if it's not adjusted right, you gotta, like, now you have to have a screwdriver, this hex wrench with you. And, and so this this is just much more complex because it's designed to treat lots of different things. Like this, this could technically take care of, um, um, like I could set my range of motion and not go beyond a certain point in either direction with these little clamps that I put in here. And, uh, and then I can also just change this. Now, I just got to say, like, especially if you're buying this for yourself and, and you're not having a professional fit you, like a prosthetic or a, a brace, um, you know, specialist fit you, an orthotics specialist, a PT, you could get this wrong and this could actually do more damage to you than it's helping. Now, for the most part, your joints let you know when you're doing something wrong and you should listen. Like for the most part, they do that for the most part. I know I feel uh, my knee when I'm doing things to it, it doesn't like it. It tells me, if not immediately, it tells me very shortly thereafter that to, to start learning my lesson. Um, this just, I'll say this one just does not produce as much support as I would like. I'm going to show you something I like, I found that I like better. As far as I can tell, it's not breaking down. I've worn it more in the water than any other brace. And it's super simple. And I'm sure that there are professionals that work in orthopedics that are like, no, nah, that's not good for you. But I'm telling you, this simple sock, which has uh, rigid plastic uh, joints in it right here. So you see that? It has one on each side, okay? And it has this this ring that's like gel ring, which I really do like. I don't have patella issues, so I wouldn't expect this to do anything for me. But it's got this ring here. What I've noticed is um, if you got a kneel or something, like when you're setting up your board, you're kneeling on the board to get up, like, wow, sure do appreciate that little cushion there. So it it's not for me, it's not doing anything that I need done, because I, like, again, I don't have patella issues. The patella is this front little part of your bone and sometimes that can get dislocated and it can, it can get pinched I mean, it just uh, it just makes me uh get the willies to actually think about all the shit that can go wrong with uh with your patella but um i don't have those issues so and i don't have acl issues yet and i don't want them either 
But I'll say this, this thing's damn awesome. I bought this, I think it was less than $200. And when I wear this, it's, it's pretty comfortable. It ain't as comfortable as this Swedish guy here for just walking a boot. But um, <laughs> it, um, it is really comfortable for water, for wear, wearing in the water for the limited amount of time that I'm gonna wear it. It's super easy to put on. And every time I've gone to get it, it's always been dry. Like, always, always been totally dry. Just hanging it up and letting it drip dry, that, that tells me that there's not many, you know, the, the fabrics that are in are minimized and, and they're made out of things that dry really easily. I've never, never even put it over like a fan or anything, uh, as far as I can tell. It, it, it works great. There you go, it's on, I've tightened up. Got one strap back here, I guess I gotta get. There, there it is. Okay, so got tightened up. And what I have noticed when I wear this, I have zero symptoms um, that I would normally have when I've been like, especially if I go to a race, an e-foil race, I don't notice any of the swollen knee stuff that I normally feel when I ride. And um, I, I've been, I say I went to two races and I, this is before I had a great uh, wipe race right, a brace that I was wearing in the water. And like, you know, when I'm racing, like the adrenaline's going, so I don't feel as much, I don't get as much feedback from my knees of like them complaining. And so, and I'm crouched, I'm going way faster, my pulse is gone, and I'm just like, I'm probably doing things that are more likely to, to injure my, myself. And so I noticed that after two races already this season, I was like, came home and that night I was like, oh no, I'm, I can feel it. You know, I, 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 my, my knee hurts. It's kind of got that crunchy feel into it. It's definitely, uh, it's, I'm experiencing some inflammation. And so, you know, I used to use uh, a lot of like uh, prescription strength, anti-inflammatories, right? And they're really not good for you in, in a lot of ways, especially for long-term use. And that's what I used to use to treat that. Now I use CBD, both topical and oral. And that to me works as well, has, no other, none of, I haven't noticed any other issues, like none of the gut issues that you'll notice, like a lot of times you take, take especially those very strong anti-inflammatories, which is, you know, essentially it's either a very high dose of um, ibuprofen or naproxen, you know, all these, these line of anti-inflammatory drugs. They're not great for your, like your other parts of your body, especially if you're taking a, them in large doses and um, frequently. And so I've just started, I just kind of dropped down the CBD because it seems to work just as well for anti-inflammatory and i don't know if topical works more than oral um, i just do both and the next day i'm ready to ski i'm ready to snowboard i'm ready to to wait you know i'm ready to get back in the foil i feel fine but i have noticed that ever since i've started wearing this to races i don't notice any inflammation at all so look you can you can go ahead and um, mock me for falling into the placebo effect of this thing. But my knee is very honest with me and I feel. <laughs> and whatever this is doing, it's doing it pretty well because I ride really hard and I don't, I don't really have an issue. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And, um, and I'll let you know if anything changes there. I'll get you the brand of this and I will get you, uh, I'll show you where I found it on Amazon. And again, I am not diagnosing anyone and I'm not recommending anything to anyone. You treat yourself at your own risk. Um, this just, I'm just telling you my own experience with this and it's been positive. And I'm not paid by any, I bought all these with my money. Um, I mean, this one, I think was an insurance uh, I got after I had surgery. So I paid for it. Either way, uh, there is, there's nothing in it for me. No one's going to give me anything for saying I like or don't like one of these. So I um, assure you, I am very independent in my mindset here. If you've been noticing knee issues, maybe talk to your doctor about it. Uh, take your life into your own hands and buy one of these and uh, uh, maybe they'll help or maybe you'll paralyze yourself and your leg will fall off. I don't know. Anything could, anything could happen. You, you never know. I'm going to go e-foiling now.
Master! Your sport with... Batium! The official sportswear of Verdant Ride! New improved ninja mode! Whatever your sport is, master it with Batium! The fantastic shirt with the terrible name. Batium!
32 inch mass, just watch me go With the LCS, I'm in control Flying through waves, I'm on a roll 100 surf V2 on the front, carbon strong 32 glide, rear stab, keeps me cruising long Stadium shirt, keeping me warm 95% recycled, it's the storm Got the Insta360 capturing my flight Every flip, every dip, I'm soaring bright DJI Air 3 above, catching the scene Flying with me, it's a dream machine Insta Mic Pro, sounds so clean Every wave I carve, you hear it pristine Knee brace strong, I'm ready to ride No fear, just cheer on this e-foil glide Bird and ride, we do it right In every gear, we take flight Knee braces on, feeling tight E-foiling high, into the night